flight controller preferred a steam engine than this railway, but he found diesel useful because they could pull either coaches or trucks. You're versatile, he would say to them. Real mixed traffic engines. Boko and Bear were proud of this, but James was not impressed. He liked these two diesels, but he treated all others with deep suspicion. Diesels don't use coal and water, he would say darkly. How can you trust an engine who isn't normal in his habits? Visiting diesels sometimes boasted about how special they were. Particularly haughty diesel came from the other railway. When the visitor found that he was to share the shed with steam engines, he stopped outside in disgust and refused to go any further. Why on earth does your controller keep such out of date objects? He growled rudely. Dirty, smoky, slow things. He shuddered delicately. On our railway, the diesel continued loftily. Steam engines are kept strictly in their place and not allowed on the main line without special permission. Boca, who has shown the diesel around, a lot of patience. Stay outside then if you're so proud about it, he said crossly. I'm going to join my friends. I hope it's cold tonight and can't start in the morning, snorted James. At least someone might want to preserve us. We'll need him. Oh, stuck up. The engines were glad when morning came. They went to fetch their trains as early as they could, and the visitor was left alone. That's better, he referred to himself. How can an engine rest in all that hissing and clanking? The cleaning equipment and fuel supply were in the part of the shed which Boko and Bear shared. Old stuck up so full of self-importance that he'd forgotten he would need cleaning and refueling before he went home. It was getting late when he remembered. If I go in now while the shed is empty, he said to himself, no one will know I've been. He scurried forward quickly, too quickly. The rails where Bear and Boko had stood were oily, and when he tried to stop, he couldn't. Great blocks and buffers, I'm slipping, he wailed. As he was locked and slivered. He shut his eyes as, with a despairing whoop of horror, he crashed into the wall at the end of the shed. The diesel was not badly damaged, but a dreadful draft came through the hole in the wall. When the other engines came home, they heard the story from Douglas, who cleared up the mess. Say, Boko, what is it the fat controller calls you? The versatile, chuckled Boko. But that isn't what he called stuck up. I couldn't hear what he said, but I didn't think it sounded very polite. 